Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem Awakening. We had a unfortunate failure in the last episode due to same turn reinforcements. Something I loathe. Um, we did have the right idea though. Um, it turns out that we did block a set of reinforcements from those southern forts. And then we ended up just leaving those forts on a turn that more reinforcements were going to show up, which was turn five. So turn three, we have reinforcements from those southern forts, and turn five, we have reinforcements from those southern forts. So we don't necessarily have to rush to those forts right now, unless we want to use them for our own battling advantage. Um, but I'm just going to keep these open, because, yeah, screw that. Um, and it looks like turn seven has reinforcements from all forts. All of them. Yay! <laughs> so I did like the little bit of a line that I kind of created here. That worked out pretty well for me this last time. That'll save us a durability on it at least. Oh, never mind. Oh, he got one health left. Oh, you didn't have to use that, my man. Wait, did... I think Krom actually attacked before that. Goodness. Crit after crit after crit. We're proccing, baby. <laughs> not bad, not bad, team. All right, this is a good start. Wow, I didn't realize so many of you after you right now. It's a good thing you're kind of a tank, huh? You know what? I think I'm okay with that, actually. Okay, we're on turn two. 
gonna have to just keep an eye on this. Turn three is when the reinforcements come from the south the first time. So we don't need to worry about it this turn. I mean, there's a good chance Donald would jump in to finish this, but it's not guaranteed. I don't know if I have anybody who can guarantee it right now, necessarily. That's a good chance, though, I feel like. 68% on Donald jumping in. Zero damage taken back. You can do this. Ah, oh, he's worth a shot. I don't think anybody else can get to him, so somebody's gonna take a hit in his range. Um, you need a heal real bad. Right, let's just make sure we kill everybody, huh? I might need you to come over here to block. Yeah, with those 65 chances, nah, we're not gonna do it that way. get the job done. If you can't, Krom will pick up the piece. Let's find out. I think I have enough people close enough to forts that I'm willing to try this. The longbow will probably go after Robin, is my guess. Tink. <laughs> you don't need to go that hard, man. Nice, and he's right next to Krom to pick up his freaking Master Seal, too. I didn't even plan that out, but... 
I'm gonna say I do. Okay, this is turn three, so we have to get people on these bottom forts. Because after this next turn, these will have spawns, and then the turn after that, it'll be these ones. Okay. Um, let's do this first. General or a Great Knight? Great Knight is what Frederick is. We're probably going to go with General. Just lean in. Like, he's still not going to be super fast, but... My god, he will be a damn tank, won't he? General actually gives a little bit of a boost to resistance, too. So, spears and axes for you. So, he'll get access to axes. If we went to Great Knight, he would also have access to swords. But yeah, I think we're going to go General. He's, he's a tank. He's just a wall, this man, so only seems fitting. Ah, look at our boy Kellum. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Gain the ability to use axes. Looking good, Kellum. You show him. I may even just set Krom on that fortress up there. Hell, him and him and Kellum alone could take quite a beating from these guys up here, I would bet. so many master seals soon. I'm wondering if my plan should be to hold these through turn five, where that second wave is going to come through, and we'll just have to meet this group down there. Which means that we'll have this group and the two that spawn here and here kind of coming at us at the same time. I'm wondering if we can control that flow well enough. I mean, if I put a wall on each of these sides, I think we could manage it. I mean, hell, he could take a bunch of hits from these guys. This guy could actually hurt him. There's no doubt about that. Like, this guy could really do some damage to just about anybody. But... I was going to dance her and have her finish healing him up, but then I realized I wouldn't be able to put somebody on this spot, so... Okay. But, that works.
Okay, at the end of this turn, reinforcements are going to pop up on these. Yeah. And then the turn after that, they're on the bottom again. Try putting it there. Good job, girl. That's a great level up. And we'll just leave you three there for now. Of course, you three are ones who need experience, but we'll worry about that when we need to worry about that. For now, let's just make sure that we make it through this map. Ha! Huh. Just what I like to see. might be a moment to pull back with my soft people and maybe just set up more of a defensive position to deal with what's coming at us right now. This one is in a bit of danger, but the other two, once this guy's gone, is not too much to worry about. So do I leave? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you here, because you can take some hits. It doesn't quite block, so what I'm going to do is... I think if I move you, that shouldn't open up this spot. So you two can take hits if you had to. And you're in good positions. Krom, you can also... I mean, the fact that this guy could only do a 33% on you right now says that you're probably in pretty good shape. Um, these other two axe wielders probably won't be able to hit you. This guy probably can, and you probably can. But I think Krom would probably be fairly safe here. If I wanted to, I could even give him a little bit of a boost with some defense and strength. Thank you. 
23. I just kind of want to see what people could do to him. Because I'd rather him get the experience. I think he'd be okay. Even if they all went after him, I think that he would just tank the shit out of it. rather him get the experience. Krom doesn't really need it right now, so I guess <laughs> I guess he doesn't either. <laughs> He's actually an advanced uh, class right now. Hmm. Do I want to keep the killer or the silver? I want them all. I want to keep everything, just let me hold on to all of them. Man, 15 might is really nice. That could come in handy. Killer is really good, though. He says as he sends it to convoy. There's no magic, so you're relatively safe here. I think everybody who's left would just plink off of you, so... Just like that. Good. Huh. <sighs> I might have to convoy him another lance. Two people who can get to Rickon right now? I did not realize that. Son of a bitch, and I just wasted my rescue. They're gonna go after him. You would give a defense plus one. Okay, so I looked at the numbers. He's gonna take... 22 damage, I think? So he'll... He'll survive? <laughs> Unless he got crit. as I thought. Okay, so do we not have to worry about reinforcements for a bit? So turn six, I believe turn seven is when all forts send reinforcements. And then after that, I don't think there's anything else. So we might just hold this bottom line uh, through this next turn, and uh, we'll just deal with whatever the the last four that come at us yeah so we're, we're we're fine we could even come off of these squares this turn if we really wanted to all right let's get back to our other view 
You definitely need to get some more kills, Nowy. What can we get done with you? Not bad. We could use some uh, defense, but not bad. Alright, I need to get you a kill and maybe Tharja. Ooh, with Robin you can double. Good pairing right there. In my first playthrough I married Tharja, and man, the pairing of Robin and Tharja, a male Robin and Tharja, was really good. So you kind of get a little glimpse of that with this pairing right now. It's just really good. <laughs> it's just really, really good. Probably get you in a range for varying. And as long as on the next turn we go back onto those four forts, we'll be in a good spot. separate those two. Set of reinforcements wasn't listed on this uh, fandom site. I would have been real pissed if uh, more came out of these ones, huh? When I thought I was safe. been jumping in a lot this map, has he? far forward yet. Okay, so we've basically got... Yep. The end of this turn, the reinforcements will come from all of them, supposedly. And then after that, I don't think there's anything, and I think we can start moving forward.
Okay, now everybody's moving. You're probably pretty strong. Attack 32. Yeah, you'd be able to take that. 32 minus 25. Question is, is there other people that are close enough that they'll be able to gang up on you a bit? So there's a potential of two people going after Nally from that position. I think she can take it. I think she can take it with Donald's help. She doesn't have the highest HP pool. Maybe I should do the math. Give me a second. We should be fine. This guy is one point away from being able to double her, but he would only do 14 damage, and this guy will plink off of me. He won't be able to do any damage with attack 21. I have defense of 25, so... Kellum's just gonna hold this line. It's one of my safest bets right now. I'm like still nervous to take them off even though the wiki says that there shouldn't be any more reinforcements. Do I trust it? Donald finally jumped in. She doesn't often get bad level ups, does she? She's doing pretty good. <laughs> Still only two damage.
You can either come up this way, or you could even come over here to try and nuke somebody who comes along this line. So I think I'll keep you right there. Um, now this side looks a little bit more dangerous at the moment, other than the fact that I could just let him hold this line. <laughs> but... Okay, you can murder this guy real good, can't you? I'm gonna let you do it, too. with a shot. Okay, you get hurt pretty bad from this individual. 32. You're going to get hit pretty hard, if I'm being honest. I may have made a mistake. Should have just held the line, Ben. Okay, he's capable of coming here, which means this spot can get hit by two ranged units. So, pulling Rickon up there... Well, f yeah. There's only one ranged unit. If I could kill him with Rickon... Probably not without taking damage, though. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay. Dude's got too much speed. Twenty-three's the best I can do. Can I get a plus three from Rickon? I can get a plus six from Rickon. Bo's going to come after Robin. You don't have range. Okay. Axe will... I don't know. Will the Axe try and go after him because he's holding a lance? Probably not. I bet you that you'll go after Libra. Yeah, we'll see. We will see. Is it safe to send you down the middle? Eh, I wouldn't want to do that. So, your Libra's on this side, so Lissa will go to this side. show up and lose my shit. I will, I swear. <laughs> the 
Wiki lied to me about one of the reinforcements already, so... It was your time. It was your time. Pan is savage. <laughs> oh, I really thought you'd go after Robin. Interesting. I got you. That's pretty good damage, honestly. Uh-oh. No, the, the other unit can't can't reach far enough. Right? Oh, thank God. That would have been real bad. Blink. somebody else. You're just softening. God. You're too strong, Kellum. You're too strong. I should have checked that north path to see if there were more enemies up there. I think everybody's moved down, right? Yeah, okay. Whew. Um, let's hope there's not more reinforcements from these, but we'll see. Okay, three units on this side. I think you would murder anybody you touch at this point, Krom, so you can't really soften anybody for us right now. Can I get you a kill? Okay, there's a broken dragon stone. Luckily, we can buy these now. She has an extra one already. Donald, what? should have unequipped it. Whenever I'm trying to give somebody else experience, I need to unequip people for stuff like that. Okay. Well, in that case... your speed? 14. I would need three speed to get a double. I should do it, yeah? Yeah. Her jumping in. Zero damage, but still. Good on you, girl. Longbow, hell yes. Yeah, you're just murdering everything at this point. I can't really finish you now, can I? You don't have range. Alright, everybody who's in a spot that can get hit can take a hit, so... Krom of all people. Right. Yeah, bad choice, bro. Do I want to send somebody who has range down there? Movement five. I wanted to be somebody with range. 
so that if we wanted to get them involved, they could move here and attack. So give them a little bit of a head start here. On the next turn, we'll probably uh, separate those two. I tried frying some fish with my fire tone. Modern men should know how to cook. Bit of experience. I guess there's not dancer experience. Or we already used it all. Yeah, we must have used it, it all. Usually there's a cap on dancer experience. limited on our ability to attack him on multiple fronts so we're gonna have to try and be kind of intelligent about the way that we do this oh there's a ramp right here I didn't realize that eh, well these guys move fast anyway so it doesn't matter too much Finders Keepers. Ella Woods Blade. Oh, I bet you that's pretty good. Might 10, hit 85, crit 5. Not bad, not bad. Decent enough for me. Oh yeah, there's experience. take hits, even if that 7% crit proc would be 9 damage. <laughs> so... might actually be able to use the longbow to our advantage in this encounter. Let's see what he'd be capable of with that, if he has the strength to uh, overcome his, this boss's defenses. I didn't look at the boss's stats really, so I don't know if he's real tanky or not. 
So, let's look at the longbow real quick. Let's look at its stats. They generally have lower hit chance. Might is pretty good, actually. Not bad at 9. Uh, let's compare that. Killer bow's 10, so... Yeah. Same as the steel bow. With less hit. And extra range. Kill the prince. Interesting. Interesting little line. Here. If I can get you this kill, I think I will. Zero percent crit. Decent damage, but... You wouldn't be able to kill even if you hit on this turn and your own turn. It's a really high crit chance. both hit, you'd die. I mean, actually, you could end it, really. If we wanted to. I don't think I want to, though. Dodge. Ooh, she's real close to her level 20. Unequip him. Now I'm going to give it to Virian. We don't even need to use the longbow. Just seeing if there's uh, experience I can give to some people.
Yeah, they were definitely sent after Krom specifically. Kill the prince. That's a, that was a bad level up. Fury, my dude, come on. <laughs> that was bad. Now we and Donald are our MVPs. Right. That's the last of them. Gods, I thought it might never... Krom! Look out! <clears throat> huh? Father, no! <laughs> did, did did she say father? <laughs> Come again? Father. Thank the gods you're safe. Huh? You you called me father. Uh did I uh, I uh, per perhaps we might speak privately. <clears throat> um perhaps we should. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. I don't even know where to begin. Listen. I already know you're not Marth, though I've nothing better to call you. But I'll ask nothing of you that you don't wish to reveal. Whoever you are, Elis owes you a debt beyond repaying. No. Thank you, but I think I would prefer you know the truth. Good. As you wish. Yes. Here, look closely, and all will be made clear. <laughs> That's the brand of the exalt. <sighs> Lucina. Hmm. <sighs> you deserve better from me than one sword in a world of troubles. I'm sorry. Better, Lucina? I'm so sorry. Yes, Father. I'm sorry. It just all rushed back at once. Good. Father. <laughs> uh, should I call you something else? No. No, it's just strange to my ear. I like it. <sighs> Father. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will take some getting used to. Crom. I'm sorry. Crom? Oh, Robin, what is it? It's just that you two are out here alone and Martha's crying. And look who's behind you, Lucina. <laughs> this is how ill rumors are born. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, you might want to explain things. Oh, Sumia. <laughs> he loves me. He loves me not. Hey. Uh, Sumia, why in the God's names are you shredding those poor flowers? I'm not, I'm not spying on you. You can't prove that I am. Oh, gods. You brought her. Oh, dear. Listen. Um, can, can, can we tell her, Lucina? Please? For the love of God? Your mother thinks that I'm cheating on her with my daughter. No. Yes. Of course. Huh? Lucina? But, wait, that's... Listen to me. Sumia, this is going to be something of a shock, but I'll just say it. This is our daughter, Lucina. What? Right. It's true, Sumia. I'm your daughter. Look closely and see for yourself. <sighs> your eye. It has the brand. Hmm. The same brand carried by all House Elissa's bloodline. <sighs> this... This is... Listen. Do you see now? Huh? No, Krom, I do not see. This doesn't make any sense. Wait. 
Is is my Lucina all right? What did you do to her? <sighs> Peace, Sumi. It's all right. Your baby is right where you left her, and perfectly safe. I am her from another timeline. From a time that is yet to be. What? You mean in the future? Yes. Yes, more than ten years hence. After history takes a dark and most destructive turn. We've introduced time travel, ladies and gentlemen. Marth is our daughter Lucina. Not our daughter, but Krom's daughter. Well, with that, I think we're going to end this episode. So, that was quite quite an interesting one, especially that ending there, huh? So, yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.